Someone likes to come out here and start doing more work without filming. So sometimes I need to jump out here to get video of him filming what he's doing next. Shelter. Boost. What are you doing? Holy shit. Bring your fence posts. Yeah, you're not recording it, so I'll record for you. I was gonna get it after this. Why, holy shit, what happened? You scared me! Oh. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> Putting in the fin post. Now the question is, where do you want the gate? Where do we want the gate? Hmm. Typical Scott, forgot the camera. Wife beat me to it. I always forget. But starting the fence. Got that pretty much done. Just got little odds and ends of things I can touch up whenever, but it's it's done. So now we are starting on fence. So idea is I've got four by six, four by six, and four by six. Four by six for each corner and four by six holding the gate. Sorry for the spinning. Gate, right here. It's this very simple swing gate. Now for the rest of the post, it's just gonna be the round pressure treated fence. It's dark inside here, but we're gonna go with these guys. Lots of work ahead, lots of holes. Uh, the rest of the fence, I'm not going to concrete. All this I concreted in, because I want to be able to pull the wire off of that. That needs to support the gate and pull the wire off of that just so I can get it tight and it's not gonna, I don't think it'll pull the fence post, but I just want the corners a little bit more secure. Um, so what I've been doing is just drilling a hole with auger and what I'm going to do for the round fence post so I've got this base that I put in the hole put a little water in it and then tamp it down and it's pretty rock solid I did it on our fence over there there's no concrete on that fence and it hasn't moved hasn't budged and this is doesn't need to be bomb proof and it'll be a lot cheaper the uh the four by four pressure treated like these four by sixes were 17 18 dollars a piece and those round ones were eight nine dollars a piece you do the math times 23 so let's get to uh putting in some fence posts What are you doing over here, little bud? Um, the hardest sandcastle will break. Oh my. The hardest sandcastle will break. The hardest sandcastle to break. You know, you should do is get some concrete. Oh, that would work. That would work. Are you trying to make concrete? No. No. Some water and some sand. Yeah. And, uh, and rocks. And rocks. Okay. Well. What's that thing over there? What? Yeah. Part of something. Part of a bird house. Alright. Back to work, back to work. Get those 
shady shades on. All right, well, I haven't been filming. I always say this every time. Just, 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 I say, get the camera, stupid. Get the camera. Okay, so all the fence posts are in and our gate is in. Went a little bit different with the gate. I mounted it to the front rather than on the side. Now when you open it, it opens obviously this way, but you can push it just about a foot open so you can walk through and the donkeys can't get out. Oops, bleep that out, mom. Don't want to give away the secret yet. Well, most people probably know anyways. But uh, all fence posts, on that side, that side. And now we are attaching wire. I probably should have gone five foot, but we don't need five foot. Um, eventually I'll come back through and probably cut these all uniform because they are kind of all over the place. Fence job, not the best, but it will work and it will hold what's intended to be held. So right now, sun right behind me. Right now I'm just pulling the, the wire and stapling the wire every two. You see right here, staples. And what I've done is I've hooked it to the truck via two two by fours screwed together and then putting tension on it with the truck. So got that and I'm gonna pull it tight to that and then keep on going. Might be able to get half of it done today. We shall see. Let's get some time lapse rolling. That's a wrap. All done with the new addition to the property and the new family members should be here. Today's Thursday. They should be here on Saturday. So check it out. Can't really tell with the sun in your face. We've got all the posts put up wire put up the only thing that I need to do is replace this one post that's part of the gate but the wire is super flimsy because it's not in concrete so eventually I'll dig this post up right here dig that guy up and uh, put that sucker in concrete Got the gate all done. Clothes are all done. So we wound up being 60 by 80 by 60. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. 60 by 80. Good to go. And I've already not started but found another project I'm going to do down here by these loud crazy birds. AKA guinea hens. We're gonna get an addition to some more animals on the property. So over here, I've got greenhouse. My plan is I'm gonna rip all the plastic off. I don't need the greenhouse anymore. I don't have heat to the greenhouse, so it really does me absolutely no good. During the winter, it gets colder. During the summer, it gets hotter inside so i mean plants do grow well but it, i don't need it i can grow everything out here in our garden plots 
Um, so I'm going to rip plastic off and put chicken wire over the whole thing and get some quails. Go after some quail eggs uh, down the road. Once we get that done, I'm going to fence off another like 20 by 80 area next to this enclosure and probably move the dog kennel over there for even more animals. We are making things happen. So it should be quite an interesting uh, spring and summer with plenty more videos to come. And I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.